Hello, I'm Robert and welcome to my channel where I talk about everything automated algorithmic trading or simply algo trading. Last week, oh what a week, the volatility was just unbelievable and completely unexpected. But it wasn't driven by the typical market analytics that we would expect. Last week's volatility was driven by a abysmal CPI report from the United States government. Talk about a landslide hot mess. And it is the poster child of why you never trade without expecting the market to move against you aggressively. So let's look at the chart. When a CPI report came out, it was devastating. And any pair that traded against the US dollar skyrocketed. Not because of its own merits, but simply because the rebuke against the US economy was so extreme that everybody else benefited from it. We can see, for example, each of the days of last week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, brought in stellar bullish movement. Spectacular if you were in a long position. If you were in a short position, well, you just had to wade through it and deal with it. But again, that's the whole point of trading, taking it no matter which way the market goes. And as you can see, I accumulated quite a few of my own positions. But it's all good because this is about understanding the market. And even though the upper range did move quite drastically compared to previous markets of a couple of weeks ago, we can see that it is still within a reasonable level going back to June so we really have a pretty consistent range still. We are within the bigger picture, and that really is the important part. We can see the possible potential of the reversal already taking place where the market is about ready to correct itself. And the order book itself is a conflicted disaster. Let's just put this out on the table straight out the order book is still back where previous values were, showing extreme levels of support and resistance appropriate to pre-CPI levels. So I think that we have a standard chance of returning back to those levels over the course of this week. But as always, never underestimate the market or a bureaucracy that seems to be hellbent on putting itself out of business. In reviewing last week's CPI report, it's very clear that things are not going well and that the rebuke of this administration is strong and fierce. All of the promises of the last three years have clearly failed. Whether or not the next administration is going to be any better, I don't know that it really matters right here and now as we look at the markets. And that, I think, is the entire point of each day, each week, and each month within the market. Being able to float with it. Being able to simply take what it delivers and have a strategy that over time can consistently perform no matter what the market does. Those are the hallmarks of a true trading technique that is meant to weather time. So our ranges really are still good. The volume weighted pricing is shifted to show the current market movement. But when you really look at the order book, support levels, they're not that different. And when you see the OEN order book in the background, you can clearly see just how much the market has rebuked this change. 
So as we progress forward, I think it's important to remember to focus on the longer term picture and take advantage of those sweet profits when they come. Whether you're in a long or short directional trade, always plan for the worst case scenario and you will always be able to come out on top in the long term. Short term losses for both sides are normal. But this isn't a short-term game. If you spend time in a market, then you know this is 21 years worth of history to study. And it's important to understand what that really means in the market. So let me know, did you do well last week? Did you take a few losses? How did last week's CPI report affect the pair you're trading? Were you trading in favor of the U.S. dollar, such as USD, Canadian, or some other pair? Or were you trading in favor of a pair against the U.S. dollar, like the euro? Let me know what you think. Share your thoughts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel grow. I'm interested in seeing what you think the market is going to do as we move forward and how that's going to affect this next quarter coming up. We'll actually just start it in July. Thank you for watching and until next time.